Hi, I'm David Bax. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're at the Concord Greenway. It's beautiful here. If you've never experienced, you got to check it out. Kasha's going to tell you all about that. Got a ton of other information on today's show. So grab that pen and paper so you can write that contact info down. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. We're enjoying a beautiful stroll along one of the greenways in Concord. The Downtown Connector Greenway location is designed to preserve and protect landscapes in our area, protect water quality in the adjacent creek, and link users to several green recreation sites within a convenient proximity to Concord. This four-mile exercise adventure provides many scenic views as it connects McGee Park to McEachern Greenway, along Branchu Drive, then to Les Myers Park and South Union Street, which leads you to downtown and the Village Greenway. For a three-mile round-trip walk, you can start at Myers Park and follow the McEachern Greenway through the Downtown Connector Greenway near the post office. Then follow the brick stampings on the sidewalk along Means Avenue and North Union Street to connect to the Village Greenway, which begins with the, at the Cabarrus County Boys and Girls Club. There are three entrances to the Village Greenway, at the Boys and Girls Club of Cabarrus County on Academy Avenue just past Webb Field and on Kerr Street between Crowell Drive and Cedar Drive next to the Clearwater Artist Studios in the former city's waterworks building. Throughout the Greenway system, you'll see brick columns marking Greenway entrances as well as banners and brick pavers adorned with red lizards as a Greenway identifier every quarter mile to help you stay on course. Doggy drinking fountains and doggy posts are also provided along the Greenway to help you clean up after your four-legged walking buddy. Future Greenway phases include walking paths to the hospital area. To see a map of the Greenway system and proposed trails, visit the Parks and Recreation page at concordnc.gov. Now, recent events have made us really appreciate law enforcement and all their personal sacrifices that they make to protect us. Mm -hmm. Now, local law enforcement officers will be honored on Friday, May the 3rd, when Law Day is observed throughout the United States. Now, the public is invited to Cabarrus County's Law Day at 10.45 a.m. at the Cabarrus County Governmental Center, and that's at 65 Con Church Street in Concord. Now, this program is focused on the development of law in this country, honors those who are entrusted with in enforcing it. Now, the Robert Jackson Urey Memorial Award will also be presented to a deserving veteran law officer serving in Cabarrus County. This annual event is presented in the memory of Cabarrus County Deputy Sheriff Robert Jackson Urey, and he was killed in the line of duty in 1972. For more information about Law Day at 1045 Friday, May the 3rd, the Cabarrus County Governmental Center, simply call the Cabarrus County Sheriff's Office at 704-920-3000 or visit cabarruscounty.us. You know, Mother's Day, the restaurants are always so crowded. If your mom likes barbecue, there's a great idea mm. and a special way to celebrate. It's the getting jiggy with the piggy barbecue <laughs> challenge. You can treat her to a weekend of music, crafts, and barbecue at Village Fest. Huh. If you love barbecue, mark your calendar now for a special event coming up in Cabarrus County. The inaugural Jiggy with the Piggy Barbecue Challenge will be part of the 34th Annual Village Fest, May 10th and 11th in downtown Kannapolis. The event is free and it features music, crafts, and competition barbecue sanctioned by the Kansas City Barbecue Society. Oh, that's that's, a big that deal. is a big deal. It's the nation's leading barbecue sanctioning body. 65 competition cook teams from all over the country will come to compete against each other for prize money for cooking chicken and ribs and beef brisket and mm. pork. There will be a People's Choice wing tasting on Friday, May 10th from 7 until 9 p.m. at the Old Cabarrus Bank Building in downtown Kannapolis. All the proceeds will benefit the Cannon Memorial YMCA. The festival attendees can purchase a $10 wristband okay. to sample one wing from each of the competitors. The People's Choice Pork Tasting will be held on Saturday, May 11th from noon until 2 p.m. in the Old Cabarrus Bank Building with proceeds to benefit the Kannapolis Rotary Club. Festival attendees can purchase again a $10 wristband to sample two ounces of pork from 40 participating barbecue teams. Then you get to vote for your favorite. Right. Advanced wristband sales will be available soon. Wristbands will also be available for sale on site while supplies last. For more information about the inaugural Jiggy with the Piggy Barbecue Challenge as part of the Village Fest on Friday, May 10th through Saturday, May 11th in downtown Kannapolis, visit JiggyWithThePiggy.com or CabarrusEvents.org. That makes me really hungry. 
Uh, witness firsthand the techniques of area artists and celebrate their vibrant art community in the Spring into Arts Festival, and that's on Saturday, May the 4th, downtown Concord. Now this day-long arts event provides all sorts of uh, local regional um, artists performing, visual artists, an opportunity to show, kind of share their knowledge, demonstrate, sell their work, and also perform. There'll also be children's art activities, musical performances, a display of fine art as well for sale, and food offered for sale by food vendors and local restaurants, of course. Now, the event is free and open to all ages. For more information about Spring Into Arts Festival, and that's 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. on Saturday, May the 4th at Union Street in downtown Concord, just call Concord Downtown Development Corporation at 704-784-4208 or visit concorddowntown.com. Now, I'm so excited for this next event, and mm. I hope you will be too. You can spend a peaceful morning on the lake while learning the basics of kayaking at a beginner's kayaking class on May 4th at Frank Lisk Park. Now my husband asked me today, does that mean we're going to have to get wet? And hopefully no, hopefully you can <laughs> hopefully stay not. in your That's kayak right. and not get wet. The class size is limited to eight and older and is, uh, is limited to eight persons and is open to anyone ages 12 and older. Pre-registration is required by Thursday, May 2nd at cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner. Enter the search word kayaking. The cost is $2 per person. For more information about the kayaking class from noon until 2 p.m. on Saturday, May 4th at Franklis Park, call 704-920-2701 or visit cabarrascountyus.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarrascountyparks. Now, you know, it's time to kind of start sprucing up uh, kind of spring gardens around everywhere, uh, including our parks, you know, kind of, you know, cleaning that up a little bit. Well, North Cabarrus Park staff is asking folks of all ages for kind of a day of fun. Come on out, help the Garden Helpers activity on May the 4th at 10 a.m. And uh, just bring your rakes and your shovels and you can come out to North Cabarrus Park and help you know, kind of the park staff spruce things up a little bit. I bet you'll learn a lot too while you're there helping. Oh, I'm sure. They'll be talking all about all kinds of stuff. people you can learn from. And yeah, that'll be great. Now, the cost to participate is $2 per person. Pre-registration is required by Thursday, May the 2nd at uh, cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner. Enter the search word garden for more information about garden helpers at 10 a.m. on Saturday, May the 4th at North Cabarrus Park. Just call 704-782-5603 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. Children can make a special present for their moms at Button Day on May 9th at the Concord branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. The children will make a picture frame out of buttons and enjoy stories about why we are thankful for our mothers. Very important. Very important. Bring a four by six photo or smaller to put into your frame. This is a free program that is offered to children ages three to five. For more information about Button Day at 10 a.m. on Thursday, May 9th at the Concord Library, call 704-920-2058 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash library. Now you have a special opportunity to beat North Carolina's Poet Laureate. Now, Joseph Bath Ante will visit the Cabarrus County branch, the Cabarrus County Public Library. That's gonna be on May the 11th for a very special program. Now, Joseph is a professor of creative writing at Appalachian State University. He's author of six books of poetry, including this medal, uh, which was nominated for a National Book Award. He's a big deal. He is a big deal. Now, his novels and poems have won numerous awards. This program is sponsored by the Concord Friend of the Libraries, free and open to the public. For more information about the North Carolina Poet Lorette, uh, visit at 10 a.m. on Saturday, May the 11th at the Concord Library. Just call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash library. Now let's kind of uh, mosey on another part of the park and uh, see what that looks like. We're now on the other side of downtown Concord at the Village Greenway next to Clearwater Studios where it is beautiful. Oh, absolutely gorgeous here. And you know what? It's time for the games to begin. All right, let's go. All right. Well, 
it's not probably the kind of games you're thinking about. Oh. Teens can have fun hanging out and practicing for an upcoming tournament at two Wii game events offered through Cabarrus County Public Library branches. A Wii game event will be held from 5.30 until 6.30 p.m. on Monday, May 6th at the Harrisburg Library. Teens can also sharpen their Wii gaming skills from 2 until 4 p.m. on Saturday, May 11th at the Concord Library on, uh, from 2 to 4 p.m. in the auditorium. The Wii game events are free and available to teens ages 13 to 18. No registration is required, but I think there's less of a chance of getting hurt playing Wii games. Oh, if that, than, yeah, probably than maybe so. maybe senior games. Yes, yeah, so right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we won't talk about that. For more information about Wii games at the Harrisburg Library at 5.30 p.m. on Monday, May 6th, and at the Concord Library at 2 p.m. on Saturday, May 11th, Call 704-920-2053 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash library. That wasn't too bad of a hamstring pull that I had. So, okay. So, okay, that's great. enough. I am doing How many gold medals did you win? Um, six or seven. That's there you pretty go. good. So, yeah, bad. Very proud. That's right. Now, take a stroll along the trails at Camp Spencer Park. That's on May the 4th. As park rangers guide the nature walk and kind of uncover those wonders of the spring. Now, the walk is free. It's open to all ages. Registration is not required. Just meet at Helms Hall. For more information about the guided nature walk at 10 a.m. on Saturday, May the 4th, Camp Spencer Park, just call 704-920-3350 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or just go to facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. Moms, are you looking for a way to get out of the house with your kids and explore the area around us? The next Mommy and Me class is coming up on May 9th at Camp Spencer Park. It's a great way for you and your toddler to enjoy an outdoor educational experience where parents and children ages two to five years old can enjoy a combination of classes with songs, arts and crafts, stories, outdoor play, and more. Topics for the class series include trees and animals, insects, recycling, birds, and soil. Oh, okay. Parents must stay with their child during the sessions. Classes rotate between Camp Spencer Park, Franklis Park, and North Cabarrus Park. The cost is $5 per session. Pre-registration for the May 9th session is required by Tuesday, May 7th at cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Enter the search word CSP mom. For more information about the Mommy and Me nature class at 10 a.m. on Thursday, May 9th at Camp Spencer Park, call 704-920-3350 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or <laughs> facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. Now, come on out to Camp Spencer Park on May the 11th. Discover why girls rock. Well, you know why girls rock. I know rock. why girls, because yeah, right. girls rule the world. There you go. Now, the park's going to offer its annual Girl Scout Fun Day. And they're going to have all kinds of cool things. Campfire cooking, wilderness survival, nature hikes, geocaching, and crafts. Now, the Girl Scouts can drop in, you know, for a few activities during the afternoon or maybe just want to stay the whole afternoon. Camping can be arranged at discount prices. Cost is $5 per person. Registration is available for individuals or troops. Pre-registration is required by Thursday, March the 9th. Just go to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Enter the search word Girls Rock for more information about the Girl Scout Fun Day. And that's from 1 to 5 p.m. on Saturday, May the 11th, Camp Spencer Park. Just contact Jessica Milligan at 704-795-4492. Or you can email her at jhmilligan at cabarruscounty.us or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. Now a new series of computer workshops is going to be held at the Cabarrus County Senior Center on Tuesdays in May. Participants will learn about Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. Classes are held each Tuesday at 10 a.m. at the Senior Center in Concord. Cost is $5 per person. How to Use Microsoft Word 2007 will be held on May 9th. How to Use Microsoft Word Templates will be on May 16th. How to Use Microsoft Excel 2007 will be held on May 23rd. And How to Use Microsoft Excel Templates will be held on May 30th. And if you're not sure which of those programs is right for you, just call the Senior Center. They'll give you all kinds of good information. For more information about the computer workshops at 10 a.m. each Tuesday in May at the Cabarrus County Senior Center at 331 Corbin Avenue in Concord, call 704-920-3484. Now you want to dance the night away at the Cabarrus County Senior Center. That's uh, Concord on May the 3rd. The Friday night dance will feature the music of the Delmonico's. 
Admission is $5 at the door. For more information about the Friday night dance from 7 to 10 p.m. on Friday, May the 3rd, the Cabarrus County Senior Center, that's at 331 Corbin Avenue in Concord, simply call 704 920 34 do you think you know your superhero trivia? A little bit. Everything I know comes from Big Bang Theory. And <laughs> yeah, really, <laughs> That is the limit of my superhero knowledge. But if you love superheroes, come out on May 2nd and prove it. Teens can test their knowledge against fellow geeks at a superhero trivia night at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. For more information about the Geek-tastic Superhero Trivia Night, at 5 p.m. on Thursday, May 2nd at the Kannapolis Library. Call 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash library. Now the Cabarrus Arena and Events Center is going to host an international dance competition. And that's going to be May 3rd through the 5th. Now the Star Power, Star Power National Talent Competition is going to feature all kinds of talented dancers and they're going to do all kinds of different genres which will be pretty cool. Now this event is going to be held on Friday, May the 3rd from 7 a.m. until 11 a.m. Saturday, May 4th from 7 a.m. until 10 a.m. And then on Sunday, May 5th from 8 to 11 a.m. at the Cabarrus Arena and Events Center. Now, and the admission is free. That's really cool. Very now, cool. parking fee is for is five dollars car. For more information about the Star Power National Talent Competition, Friday, May third through Sunday, May fifth, at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, just call 704-920-3976 or visit CabarrusArena.com. A few weeks ago, we had a lot of fun visiting with North Carolina State Treasurer Janet Cowell. Mm -hmm. She was in the Concord Library speaking with parents and their preschoolers about financial literacy, giving them some tips and tricks and starting some important lessons. And we've got a few questions that we sat down and asked her about her work and how it can help you, residents of Cabarrus County. Well, I was at the library to read a story about Patches the Pig, who is a piggy bank and how she's looking for a home. And the story was written by a seven-year-old here in North Carolina, and she thought it would be a good way for, she knows I'm the treasurer, and so she, she made the story up, and um, we decided it was a great opportunity to share the story with preschoolers. Now, if you were gonna save money in your piggy bank, and a lot of you said you're doing that, how much money do you think that would cost? How much money do you think it would cost? Twenty dollars. What other? Any other guesses? Yeah. Seventy dollars. These are expensive crowns. Yes. Um, young adults said how important it was to teach these issues in school, and it's never too young to start. So we actually got financial literacy uh, as part of the core curriculum for social studies. So now every kindergartner through twelfth grader in North Carolina will have some exposure to concepts like savings, investment as they go through their regular social studies curriculum. I think we're just saving right now in general. Okay, there's another big quarter. All right. And a patches buck. Thank you. Look, I might almost be able to get the bicycle with all this money. Two, three, patches! If you go to the North Carolina Treasurer's website, that's nctreasurer.com, we have a financial literacy section, and this is all obviously just you know some references and materials, but we have a whole list of children's books that you can read and teach your kids about piggy banks and savings and different concepts. Save a little bit, and they can spend a little bit, and how to invest, and as treasurer, it's really a fun way to do that through uh, a book about Patches the Piggy Bank. So tell me, how yeah. was Patches the Pig? Patches the Pig was fabulous. Patches the Pig is a book that's online. It was written by a child and it's supported by Janet Cowell's office. You can go to their website and download it and share it with your child and start an introduction to financial literacy yep, through it. That's absolutely it's very great. cool. Now I know we've covered a lot of information on today's show, so if you missed anything, you can uh, find out. Just go to our web address, cabarruscounty.us. Right in there, you'll see a search box. Put in the topic and find that info. If you have any kind of problems, just pop us an email at channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. You can also sign up to get all kinds of great information from us about the events that are happening in our area, what you saw on CTW and more, go to the top right side of our webpage, click and fill out some information, or text CTW to 22828. We'd also love for you to join our Facebook and Twitter feeds, follow information on the county, the government, the events that are happening and more. It's 
very easy to do that. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable and can't watch us on Channel 22, or maybe you just want to watch us when you get an opportunity, go to CabarrasCounty.us and right there on the homepage in the lower left, scroll down, you see a video screen, and right below it it says more Channel 22 programs. Click on that and you can see all the different programs we have here on Channel 22 and you can watch them when you have a chance. That's great. I tell you what, the weather's been great. This is, I mean, the Concord Greenway and the Village Greenway, this is really, really nice. I mean, it's just very relaxing, it very It inspires pretty. you to get out and get involved and get to see all kinds of your neighbors and it's fun. Little a little bit of, of exercise fun. on top of it. Yep. So, and until next week, you have a great one. Take care.